Here we are with my just left in hair, not my just left in face, and I'm going to show you how to take it back to your first day here. So the first thing you're going to do is acquire for yourself some dry shampoo. I really like Redken or Bumble and Bumble has several different colors you can use so you don't get that powdery white look at your scalp. Um, you're going to divide your hair into sections just like this and go ahead and spray it right at the root, just giving yourself a little bit of dry shampoo. You want to do that all over your head. I'm going to go ahead and do mine and I'll be right back with you. And we're back. And our hair is perfectly dry shampooed and feeling very lush. So the next step we're going to do is we're actually going to take our duckbill clips, looks like this, you can get them from Sally's, and you're going to divide your hair up into small manageable sections to add some curl and texture to it and volume so that it doesn't look like you just slept on it. Alright, you have your hair sectioned off and you're going to take your curling rod, mine is just a bedhead one that I got from Target. And the trick of this is actually to take your curling rod and flip it upside down so you can twist the hair around the rod without it making some kind of weird curl. So the other thing you're going to want to make sure you do as you're twisting the rod around is actually to rotate the hair around the rod and keeping the end detached from the rod just like that. If you feel like it needs to get closer to your scalp, just go ahead and inch it a little bit closer. You're going to hold it for as long as you want until you feel like the curl has set. The longer you hold it, the more the curl will be set. So there you go. And that's what it looks like. So here's your section of hair. It can be kind of messy because frankly this is kind of messy. And what you're going to do is take it out from the hair, flip your rod upside down, and you're going to twist around the hair. And as you go, you can see my hand, I'm twisting it like that. And that will keep the hair cohesive as you go around the rod, leaving just a little bit of tail off of it. Now, most of these rods come with little gloves so you don't burn your fingers. I'm not wearing one right now because I'm being foolish, but you'll be smarter than I am. And that's what it looks like coming undone. So we're nearing the end. We're looking a little beachy. And I'm just on the top section. What I like to do with the top section is actually take a pretty substantial piece to do the top section to go ahead and fill out all of these curls and make them really lush. Um, and then what I do in order to add volume is to go in and selectively choose which pieces I want to curl to add a little bit more depth and a little bit more oomph at the root so you don't get that really flat look across the top. The other cool thing about this is that you can actually choose where you want your parts. So for me, I kind of did it a little bit off center. And the reason why you can choose your part is because you're actually deciding where each curl is going to go when you curl your hair. Ladies, we are so done. Doesn't this look kind of fun? You know, you can kind of piece it out with your hands. The last thing I do is I take my little sheer hold hairspray that doesn't stink and go ahead and lift the hair up and just give it a really nice spray just to add a little bit of volume to it. The key to this hair is really it should look messy. It should look kind of beachy. Like you went out, you got into the ocean, and then you let it air dry and wave in the sun. It was all very leisurely. And that's the look we're going for here. 